Hey travelers, what's up? Chris here with another review. This will be a short one. I wanted to show you my impressions of the Thai Airways Business Class or Royal Orchid Lounge at Bangkok Airport. So let's dive right into it. Before we start, just a quick note, don't mind the escalator going the other way. I forgot to film it at the beginning when coming down, but when you're at the airport, you go down these elevators to go onto a lower level where almost the entire floor is the lounge area. It's really big. As you'd expect, uh, it was quite crowded and anyone with a Star Alliance Gold or a Thai Air Business Class or First Class Ticket can go to the lounge. So you see kind of here the vibe and at that part of the, the entrance, I really liked how it looked. It's fairly bright, it looks fairly modern and you, you kind of see the, the Thai kind of brand colors that are quite decent in my opinion. Little side note here, they had a little popcorn machine, which was really nice. And also a small highlight is that they had these uh, coconut uh, juice uh, containers, basically. It was a bit hard to open them, but that's a nice part. However, and as you could tell already from the thumbnail, we were not really impressed, and let me tell you why. One of the things that really irritated me with the lounge was, for one, you absolutely don't have any view wherever you are in the lounge. So since it's kind of inside the airport, you don't have windows to the runway, you don't really have windows at all. All you can see is kind of people walking around in the terminal on the other side, awkwardly looking in. So that felt a bit weird. On top of that, as you can see here a little bit, is Oh my god, Thai Airways, would it kill you to get a couple more colors in your lounge? I mean, I don't know who decided that. It's nice with the accents, with the flowers, of course, you have this Thai Airways purple in there, but why is everything brown? Shades and shades and shades of brown, and it's not really coming out in the video as clearly as, as we experienced it, but it was actually quite gloomy and dark in there, so it really felt like you're sitting somewhere in the basement. So, a bit awkward, to be honest. The chairs, of course, decently comfortable. It's it's a very basic lounge. You get your you know power plugs, you have your Wi-Fi, you have your seating options. It's not the most comfy looking one. I wish they had more like seat corner areas where you can sit with a few more people. And also some more options of, of seating. It's only chairs, but you know, good enough in some way. You also have these <laughs> kind of uh, chair cell looking, I guess phone booths for if you want to take calls for some privacy and you have a little bit of, of dining tables for the food. And the food is what we have to talk about because this is of course one of the main reasons why you would come to a lounge, right? In regards to the food, one thing I have to say is there's a lot of it in a sense that you have a lot of different options, even warm dishes. You can see here this is a wonton soup, it was kind of pre-prepared. Um, there are some buffet style options all around the lounge. There's actually multiple areas where you have food. And to be honest, just from the selection itself, what you can see here, I think it's quite decent. It's just that pretty much all of it did not taste great, to be honest. Now, it's, it's not always the case that business class or business class lounge food is great, but this one was, to me at least, even more of a letdown. It just felt really not good. From the warm dishes who felt like they sat there for too long so everything was super mushy, all the noodles and everything, to the sandwiches that were super bland. It, it was just super basic. Now if you don't expect much from a lounge, you just go there for some drinks, maybe some beers or soft drinks, then of course this is fine. It's not the most comfortable space but better than nothing if it's included. However, when you see how good some of the lounges can be, then this definitely felt a bit like a letdown. You can see here some pastry options. I also tried some of them, but again, it just either was crazy sweet or super mushy. Even the Thai dishes that, for example, here the Gapao were very underwhelming. So a bit of a bummer for us. Therefore, my recommendation would be that at least you don't arrive super early to the airport just to experience the lounge. I don't think it's anything to write home about. You can kind of see what you're getting. It's nice that I have Ben and Sherry's ice cream, by the way. And for some reason on the other side of the lounge, it was Hagen dazs ice cream. Those are nice little elements. And of course, the popcorn machine was nice, but overall the food is very underwhelming. So 
to me it's more of a place that I go to if I don't really have any other things to do and don't want to walk around in the airport but certainly a very low ranking business class lounge to me. So that's it from my side guys as always I hope you liked the review let me know what your experiences were and I hope to see you in the next one. Cheers!